I'm glad you are here because in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be teaching you how to pick various um, photos and blend them all together to create a very interesting design. And aside that, we'll be doing some color grading and all of that inside of Canva. So don't go anywhere because what you see on my screen came out of this separate element and I'm sure you're going to love it at the end of the day. So let's dive straight into Canva and let's get started. Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, subscribing to this channel automatically makes you an OG. And if you're an OG, I really appreciate you for your continued support. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started right so you can see what we have over here and trust me you this was very beautiful and i was so proud about this design when i made it because it came out of i saw a post from one photoshop guy on instagram and i was like well let me just try and see if i can replicate and make a camera version of it and this is what i was able to do very nice and very sweet so i'm going to teach you how you can make this also in canva so first thing first click on a new page and you just have to use the dimension 1080 by 1050 50 okay then when you have that make sure you're coming into you know photos especially because today we are going to be working and lot in photos okay then i come into my c or or what you can simply do is just search for nature okay when you search for nature there are so many of them like so many things you would find right so you just go through and see if you can find the appropriate one okay or you can search for mountain so mountains and you see a lot Okay, so there are so many of them but what i am going to do is i'm going to go into my recently used images okay so that i pick what i use so this is the image and you can see it's nature landscape so you can just search for nature landscape and you should find something like this all right so now that we have it here i'll just increase the size to something like this you can see it's so beautiful and it's actually not going to take over everything okay so now go back into your photos and search for road okay and you'll see so many images over here but in this point when you're choosing your road make sure you're not looking for a road that is like you know um vertical or it's just how do i even explain this in fact let me just see something i click black road i want uh, so you can see these roads are just like vertical but you want something that is slanted sort of okay you get what i mean not i don't know how to explain this better but i just hope you understand what i mean just search for road go through the options this is what i use i believe this is what i use if not i'll just have to come into my recently used images again and i'll just have to scroll down and yes yeah, so this is what i you know this is it you can see how the image looks like very interesting so i'll delete this and what i'm going to do here is i'll come into photo and come to bg remover okay so you can see already it's looking natural you can see so i'll position it you know somewhere up like this just so that everything is looking beautiful all right all right so we'll crop it nicely and we'll also crop this nicely so we are just combining these two images now that we've done that it's looking good it's looking very good right now but as soon as we start adding extra things it'll be so obvious that these are two different images so what we would want to do is to blend things up but before we do the blending let's add our car okay so we can just come in here in fact let me just choose my car at the moment and i come in here and i can just search for car okay there are so many cars you can choose but make sure you are using a car that has a shadow underneath so that it makes the whole thing look natural okay because at the end of the day you wouldn't want people to know that these are separate elements you want them to think it was a photograph that was taken okay so have that in mind so yeah this is my car i will come to um, flip and just flip it okay and the car shouldn't look too big else it wouldn't look natural okay it should look realistic a little bit if you have to rotate it slightly just rotate it but make sure you know it's making sense okay so i think something like this makes sense okay because it's not looking too big it's not looking too small if the car was far i would reduce the size like that okay but if it's closer because the lines here are bigger you'd also want to you know, increase the size some way somehow okay and also maybe with, if you have to rotate it small so that things look a bit natural okay but i think the initial one makes sense okay so something like this and i reduce the size okay so i'm just trying to make sure you understand what i am doing so i think this looks better and you can see everything looking nice but the only thing is that we can clearly see these are different um, images that have been put together so we are going to do some color grading in Canva. that sounds amazing okay so i'll come into my first image okay come here to edit photo and we are going to go into adjust okay so what we're going to do is to be adjusting the temperature so i'll adjust the temperature to something like you know 
it will go into the warm part of it okay so 38 percent which is cool and i'll choose the road as well and just make it 38 percent but you should know that depending on your image you would this can be less okay the temperature should be less or more just so that it suits but i think if it's 26 like we've done over here it still matches with what we have okay then with the car i also come in here and i'll do some color grading in there so i would also increase a little bit to 28 just to make everything match up nicely okay so another thing we can also do is we can come in or you just click on the road first of all right come into edit photo and we'll go into the brightness increase the brightness a little bit sort of you know to 12 contrast more highlight okay and you know any adjustment vibrance a little bit okay and we are just going to do the same for this as well so the brightness can be a little bit more to make the clouds brighter and the contrast a little bit just to separate okay the brightness from the darkness and i think the next thing is i think that so uh, maybe the blacks i'll boost the blacks a little bit by increasing a little bit so to 10 and i think it should be fine okay so yeah you can see we are getting somewhere all right and just in case you want to colorize everything what you can do is to come into edit photo and you can also use the tint okay so depending on how you want things to look greenish purplish anyhow you can just do that so maybe it's 18 for this i can come here also increase it a little bit okay you can see and i'll come to the car and also do the same so you can see we've colored it a little bit and i think this is looking beautiful right so that's that's what you can use the tint for if you want to colorize them but i'll leave them the way they are okay now the next thing i want to do now is to add my text okay so instead of adding them all over again i'll just select all of them and i'll show you what i did so i'll paste them here and what i simply did was making sure that all the colors are matching with my text okay so i just selected my text came into colors and i just picked colors from here kanda has actually generated some colors for us based on the images we are using and that's what i did i just added them in here and this one also the same so we can see we can make it green you know which is also cool then we can duplicate it and just position it over here come into effect and choose background okay then with the roundness i'm going to make it zero the spread i'm going to reduce it to 27 should be fine and the color i will choose maybe white okay for it or i can choose the same dark color okay and the text color is going to be white so that it can be seen okay then i just put in my words so what i said acceleration innovation and speed so i'll do the same thing so acceleration then innovation okay then duplicate it again and see speed right then you can see there's too much space over here so just double click on it to snap double click to snap and double click to snap so i also position this over here and position this over here with the same intervals press and hold shift and select all of them and reduce the size okay then just make sure you're positioning it nicely over here so i'll use my arrow key to make sure everything's looking sweet ah, right so we want to now add this information in here but you can see if we just add them over over here it will be so difficult to read them so press r on your keyboard okay for a shape position here spread it out come into the color and you can choose any color at all but i'm going to use the green so that it's matching with the greens in here then click on it again come to gradient the second color i'm going to make it transparent okay so you can slide it over here or you can simply just you know input the number in here or anything at all so i'll just say zero okay then choose linear gradient for it come to position and just set it to 180 you can see what we have at the moment okay so something like this is cool if it's too small you can just drag it up a little bit that's all right then we'll come in here and choose a lot of icons so i can just say break okay and i'm just showing you what i did okay so come into elements rather and search for maybe breaks okay and make sure you're choosing interesting elements so i'll choose this for example come into here you can just say ties okay you see some interesting elements so many elements so you choose it make sure all the sizes are the same then you reduce them okay and arrange them nicely in here so i'll just select them okay because if i want to redo them it's going to be a lot of work all right so i just select everything like you can see copy and paste it here so the first one was 
oil filter okay and what i just simply did was i can just search for car oil just to make sure i'm getting you know the closest icon possible so i select it add it in here change the color to white arrange all of them and add your text also underneath and that's how i was able to make this inside of canva i hope you enjoyed this video and before you go there are two things i want you to do the first thing is i want you to smash on the like button and also subscribe if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget you can find all my canva templates with using the link in the description box below the name is benjamin don't forget there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video